Alright guys, I'm coming back at you with a guide specifically for peers here. So, I'm on my 13 defense peer. Um, this is just going to be like a deep wilderness kind of for fun. I'm going to do a bunch of wilderness slayer. I'm going to grind it as close as I can to 99 just doing wilderness slayer because I think it's fun. I'm trying to get the KBD heads for my slayer home. It's a really fun account. I recommend it. It's just a little bit different. You can do a few more quests. Although I'm really upset that I cannot do Sins of Our Father at 13 events because you have to do one quest in search or in aid of the myarchy i can't remember which one it is one of those gives you a little bit of defense xp so that sucks but it is what it is anyway so we're talking about thieving today um thieving sucks especially on a pier because you have to do specific methods you can't do everything that you possibly could in terms of questing and stuff like that that other people could so you can throw as much XP as, as you want in terms of like XP lamps and other things from quests, but you're not going to get close to 53. You have to do at least probably 10 levels on your own. So basically, this is the method that I'm choosing to do. So we are in Zaya in the Hasidious house. So it takes 20 favor to get in here. So a favor guide, um, ask in the comments or I'll try to link one in the description. There's tons of them. But you need to get to this house and you need 20 favor to get in. So how you do that is if you click here, you can actually see, I think, oh yeah, view tasks. Oh, it's because I'm in here. Okay. So for Hasidious, you can make the fertilizer with saltpeter and compost. It's like super cheap. It takes less than, you could like get 100 favor for maybe 100k. So it's super easy. It just takes like 30 minutes to do the whole thing. I just got lost track of time so i only did 65 percent instead of the whole 100 because it's not really necessary for me for me like i mean you could do tithe farm if you wanted to if you were more of a main account but anyway so it's really easy to get here you can take the boat from port serum here or you could use the my preferred method right now is the skills necklace or you could use this uh thing from the uh karatist Kar memoirs um and so that's all different things. There's a bank here, so that's helpful um, for some people because you could you know do different things or AFK here and just work back and forth if you get bored of thieving, which you probably will. So let's just do one inventory really really fast. So I've marked both of these on Runelight. Oops, let me zoom out. Sorry, I was talking. So you zoom it out just enough where you don't have to hardly move your camera at all. So now I can just do this all day long, pretty much. This is just so much better than blackjacking. With blackjacking, you know, you have to, like, right-click and all that other stuff. And it really ends up hurting your wrist and fingers. Uh, and probably in the long run, it's not going to be the best for you. I mean, that's a little bit silly to say. But, like, seriously, it's, it's not fun. It gives me a headache, honestly, to do blackjacking. Um, definitely still do, like, the feud quest that unlocks blackjacking because it gives you a lot of thieving XP. And it's a really easy quest to do. It takes, like, 20 minutes. But this is a way better method, I think. Um... I think at peak, you could probably get 25 to 30k at XP per hour. Uh, I would say probably closer to 25 if I had to guess. But um, I think, I don't know why, I, I think I, I'm just going to change this real quick. Hang on. Uh, reset. Okay. Let's just check really, really fast. While we're talking, um, I just want to say that you can make a bit of money this way. I'm going to show you in a second. So, okay, I filled my inventory. So if you are really p poor, 5K inventories for like two minutes is not bad. And like I said, the bank is right there. So it's not too bad at all. One thing I would suggest if you are banking or not banking um, is just to uh, use the strange fruits to keep your red energy up because obviously with appear most likely your stamina slash agility level is not going to be that high so keeping those strange fruits in your inventory is really going to be helpful to keep your raw energy up if you are like you know let's say below probably 50 agility um but that's really helpful so yeah let's see i, I don't know why it's capping out at 15 i promise you there it goes i promise you it's way more than that i think it's much closer to 30 yeah it's going up really fast now Rune light's really weird. Like the, sometimes it gets the rates really good, and then every once in a while I'll get it really buggy, and you have to reset it. But there's that. So yeah, we're getting up 26, 27, 28. So yeah, as you can see, you can easily get 30k an hour here. You can easily get 30k an hour. 
and I don't know if you want to calculate the money per hour, it's probably like 150, 200k, but you could even maximize your profits by putting this stuff in baskets if you wanted to and selling it on the Grand Exchange. People use it for farming and stuff. Jeez, I'm even getting 31. Okay, that's not too bad. So anyway, that's the video. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you and have a great day.